Bow. What's going on everyone? This is Papa Zero once again and today I got Mrs. Freeze 2.0 the Ice Crash Combatant. I've been wanting to learn the hollow palm technique for years now and thusly I finally contacted an old sensei of mine and asked him if he could teach me. He quickly agreed to pass on all of the knowledge he has accumulated over the past 39 years. He was extremely willing because his dojo was running quite low on divine orbs. I told him I didn't have any coin or orbs to pay him with, but I could potentially pay him with geese. And so he quickly came to the conclusion that I was to never contact him ever again. Pondering what to do, I decided to raise some capital by selling a specific scepter I may or may not have crafted not so long ago, and BAM! He welcomed me with open arms and now I done learned the Hello Palm technique. <laughs> not to be confused with the Hollow Palm. <laughs> Anyways, I tested all the skills that worked with it and found Ice Crash to be the most satisfying though Consecrated Path was close second. On this build I'm stacking Dexterity because of the one with nothing jewel of course, but I'm also stacking Evasion Rating and Armor which provide a nice defensive layer, but thanks to a 15 Chaos Belt that I bought, they provide me with some offensiveness as well. Don't worry, I shall reveal the belt in 43 seconds. Production, put the counter on the screen please, top right corner. You, you won't? No, okay. We don't have budget for that? Okay, got you. I am using the Dancing Deverish Reaver Two-Hander Sword just for the taunting, blinding, maiming, and cooling utility. Since I'm using it, sometimes, especially at a boss where I have to wait a few seconds before I'm allowed to attack, my rampage disappears and my DPS drops by like 95% because of the fact that Hollow Palm is not being used because I have the sword equipped. So in some ways it feels almost like poison because of the ramping so to speak on bosses or when my rampage ends. That being said, and as you've seen in the video already, as soon as I hit the boss a few times and the rampage stacks appear again, all is fantastic. Defensively, between having 30k armor and evasion, which feels pretty good already, I have Taste of Haste Flask, Watcher's Eye Jewel, Kick-Ass Armor, and a Helm, which converts a total of 47 physical damage taken as cold. And thanks to Purity of Ice, I have 81% cold resistances with 27 less cold damage taken, again, thanks to Taste of Hate. And on top of that, I have 45 for the first time in 94 builds, built into the b b build. Yeah, build, 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 build. Oh yeah, and I'm actually using Warlord's Mark. Is this thing on? I said, yeah, I'm using Warlord's Mark. Does anyone use this little mark anymore? I do, yeah. Nice leech, chance to get endurance charges, and rage. Heck yeah. GGG had to buff it like 14 times in order for one person, me, to finally try this after it was nerfed in like League 2.0 or something seven years ago. Anywho, fairly tanky, feels great, and if you enjoy a literally one button build, then this is one for you, my friends. Try it, test it, let me know how you like it. All right, what do we got for gear? Dancing Dervish sword that we want to throw on the ground as fast as possible. <laughs> Beautiful helm with dexterity and chaos res. Aul's Emmy for that hatred aura, asterisk. Sexy armor I bought week one of the league. Pretty unique TBH. Rings I crafted myself, not too shabby. Dexterity and chaos res, basically. Plus two to Aura's boots, and the item that made me finally go for this build that was cheap as dirt, yup, Perseverance, with two amazing implicits, they were practically giving this belt away. Tree, fairly standard, uh, but I do have a cool Megalomaniac Jewel, and 4x 5% increased dexterity, Brutal Restraint Jewel, nice. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with another beautiful build. On this build, I'm staking. <laughs> staking. Uh, what is this? RuneScape? 